President Obama is getting down to work at the United Nations this morning. Mr. Obama will also make a bid for Middle East peace. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has more this morning from the U.N. Bill, good morning. Hey, Russ, good morning. Big day for the president of the U.N. He addresses the summit on global climate change this morning, and he'll tell the assembled leaders that the U.S. is on the case, but the Europeans are skeptical. He also meets with China's leader, and he wades into the search for Mideast peace, a mini-summit with the leaders of Israel and the Palestinians. When he first met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu in May, the president called for a freeze on settlements as a first step toward a peace agreement. Nearly 500,000 Israelis live in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, which Israel took over after the 1967 war. But Netanyahu continues to oppose a freeze. He's far more concerned about Iran's nuclear program. And many Israelis don't see President Obama as an effective advocate. Israeli public opinion is uh, some of the most skeptical about Obama anywhere in the world. So today the president will tell Netanyahu he's serious about curbing Iran as well as about Middle East peace. To get everyone together on the same page, because it is going to need an international effort here, then you've got to give us something to work with here. And that something is progress, some movement when it comes to the Palestinians. Tomorrow is a really big show here for President Obama. He addresses the General Assembly, and he'll be followed and is certain to cross paths with the leader of Libya, who let that killer go, and there's been some bad blood. He will not, however, meet with the or be anywhere near Iran's leader who speaks in the afternoon. Russ? Bill Plant here in New York City at the U.N. Thank you.